Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode. So recently, me and my mate Dowza went fishing. We actually caught this really weird fish. I have seen these fish a few times when I was a kid, and there's a lot of anglers out there that probably do come across these fish from time to time. You're probably wondering right now what the fish is called. It's actually called a crocodile needlefish, or it also can be called a houndfish. But in Australia here, we refer to them generally as long tom. So today I pretty much wanted to do an episode just based on this crocodile needlefish, or houndfish, or long tom, whatever you want to refer to it as, just so you guys can see exactly how gnarly this fish is. The way these fish would jump out of the water while we were trying to catch them was dead set epic. They were dead set doing big tank slappers, bang, bang. <laughs> straight into the water it was gnarly it was a really good experience to see such a small fish jumping like a marlin and as i got this fish into the boat grabbed onto him he was going ballistic he was actually hard to hold not to mention him nearly biting me <laughs> but he just had no fear i guess i wouldn't have fear either if i had jaws dead set like a crocodile with razor sharp teeth. Oh, they are a hectic looking fish. That's why I just wanted to do this episode today just on this fish to show you how we caught it, to show you what they taste like. Crocodile needle fish. What an epic sounding name. That's another reason why I was so intrigued by these fish. One, they had crocodile in their name. Two, they look like a mini crocodile. Their teeth are dead set gruesome. And they had so much power. They were not scared of me while I was holding it. It was trying to bite me, flipping around everywhere, going dead set chaotic. This is a cool fish. You guys are gonna wanna watch to see the power and craziness of these little guys. Watch to find out what these gnarly little buggers tasted like. Hope you enjoy. Hey, bro. Rivers run dry, dust breaths in the air. Two dark days, do you have a tear to spear? Make a promise, the world awaits. It's heavy, just breathing through this debate. What's that? That's a flatty. A oh, long tom. Long tom. Look at the surface action. <laughs> yeah, the long toms. Look at that. Show us the teeth on him. Look at them choppers. So Dowser have just caught this mad long tom here. Never actually tried these. As you can see, they have razor sharp teeth. You really don't want to get bit by one, but I don't plan on getting bit by it. So we're going to keep him, cook him up. Oh, he's jumping! Tank slapping. What is that? Is that a, is that a tailor? I don't know, he's tank slapping, but... He's a good fish. Oh! Could be another long time. Could be. Look at this too. Look at him go. <laughs> Old Tom. A big dog. He's a longie. This rod's going off the tap. Oh, he's running. <laughs> <laughs> that was epic! <laughs> like a mini marlin! <laughs> He's a big dog. He's a big long time, man. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> this is sick! Come on, mate. He's a big long time, man. 
Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I forgot the size of that! <laughs> That's a romper! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> he swallowed the... that. He's gonna be great eating! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Look at that, guys! <laughs> Have a go at the teeth on that thing! <laughs> when I was younger, I just wanna tell you guys this, my old man caught one of these off the rocks when we were kids. We said doing something about, oh, I wonder if they really hurt when they bite, being kids and being my old man. He actually stuck his fingers in between its jaws and it hurt. There was blood everywhere. <laughs> He's a weapon, eh? Hey? Oh, he nearly too. bit me there, man. <laughs> got that too. <laughs> he honestly nearly bit me. No word of a lie, bro. A dead set thought I was winding in something from the prehistoric days. It was like I was winding in like a miniature dinosaur. You know them big dinosaurs you see in the water with the the real big freaking jaws and sharp teeth? It looked like a baby one of them. I thought I was winding in a dinosaur. Oh, and in all the craziness of catching these fish, I think I forgot to even mention what I was using. Spiderweb. <laughs> I think I forgot to even mention what I was using for bait what hook I was actually set up fishing for brim and whiting so I was only using a real small hook with a leader going onto a swivel then a small sinker on the other side and at the time we were just dead set using and at the time we were just dead set using mullet for bait all right so it's time to cook up these bad boys and see what they actually taste like in Australia here we call these long tom but I actually googled last night and the actual name for these fish are crocodile needle fish I'm assuming because their teeth here. That's not bite me. Do we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming because their teeth are dead set like needles. Like they are brutally sharp. Like when I was opening its mouth, I just pretty much pierced myself before. Like they are so sharp. Razor. Razor sharp teeth. Ah! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock a fillet off each side. This one's quite long. Long tom. This one's a little bit smaller, but I'm going to knock a fillet off each side, so it's going to be four fillets. I'll probably cut them in half so I can fit them in the pan, and yeah, I'm just going to see how they taste. Hopefully they're okay eating. Hopefully they're not poisonous and they're not going to kill me, but I'm going to eat anyway, so let's do it. So slide your knife along the backbone. You can sort of hear and feel the backbone with your knife. Not the best cleaning table, but back to basics here. Alright, there's one fillet. Actually, looks like not a bad fillet. Looks like there's bones all the way down the centre. Hello. Right here you guys. Look at the fillets, they're actually beautiful white little fillets. I'm not really sure why people don't eat them, possibly because there's a fair few bones that run along there. But other than that, I reckon they're gonna be a gorgeous little fillet. Woo hoo hoo! Yeah, the crocodile. Never did I thought I'd be eating crocodile today. Beautiful. Woohoo! Literally, fish this thin will only probably take, I don't know, less than a minute to cook. Turn it probably twice. Chicken a little bit there. Looks good. Oh, crocodile. Pretty well cooked already. Absolutely gorgeous day down here. 
got a couple of fishing rods set, been catching a couple of little white in, cooking up some lunch here, bit of crocodile for lunch, who would have thunk it? And it is just about cooked, starting to break apart. Alright, here you guys. My first time ever eating crocodile. Well, it's not actually crocodile, but that's what I'm going to tell everyone. It's a bit sandy. The flavor's actually not too bad. They're not too bad at all. Can you hear that gritting? It's actually quite nice other than the sand in it. It tastes like... I guess it's very similar to mullet. Probably not as good as mullet, but it's just very similar to mullet. I'll get another bit, hopefully not so gritty. Oh. Look at that beautiful white flesh. Absolutely gorgeous flesh. Oh, that bit's not as goody. It's actually bloody good! Oh, that's got a few bones there. Luckily, they're small bones, you can just swallow them. Don't recommend it, but you can. Might hurt coming out the other end. Oh, good fish. I rate that. I'm not sure why people don't keep these. I rate it. Alright, thanks for watching another one. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I've enjoyed making it once again. See you guys on the next one. Peace out. Phew.